Everybody, Steph here. Should you learn Java in 2016 and 2017? So this is a ongoing series of should you learn this language or that language? So I've covered Python, JavaScript, PHP. So I figured I'd get into Java. And anyone who's been following my vlogs knows that when I talk about learning a language, it really comes down most of the time to two things. A, the type of programming work you want to do, and B, the marketability of the language. It's very rare that you're gonna see a modern programming language where the language itself has major deficiencies. What you look at, again, is market forces and the type of work you wanna do. So when it comes to Java, Java is probably in the top three, if not the number one most important or most used programming language in the world. I haven't checked recent stats, but it's right up there. Java is used in two areas. It's used in web app creation for the enterprise. Now, enterprise means very large corporations. It's also used in Android app development, whether it be for Android phones or tablets. So just those two use cases give it a huge user base and there's a lot of options for you there. Now, first of all, you have to want to do either Android development or enterprise web app development to get into Java. You have to understand when you get into number one, Java web app development. And I did a lot of that in my days in the late 90s and early 2000s, a lot of that. These days with Java web, you're looking at enterprise, meaning large corporations, which means that you will not likely get a job as a Java web developer unless you have some sort of technical degree or a lot of real world experience. Not like what it was in the 90s. You were so desperate for Java coders and uh, you could get a job without the degrees. These days, I'm under the impression if you want to get a Java web developer job, you're going to have to go work for a big, huge corporation. And that's, thus, you have to get through the HR departments, the human resources department, which means they're going to want the degrees. So keep that in mind. If, you, if you're not looking or you don't have a computer science degree or computer engineering or something like that, chances are getting into the Java web is not going to be there for you because small companies typically don't use Java web because it's just too slow a language to develop, to develop in. What do I mean by slow? Well, Java is a very verbose language. It's a language that takes a lot of code relative to more modern nimble languages to get stuff done. So I could give you a comparison. I'm gonna do it in my Python course, but the amount of code it takes to do something in Java versus Python, it's, you know, Python takes a fraction of the Java code. That's why small businesses don't use Java. It's just too heavy, it's too big, it's too bloated. But big corporations who have a lot invested in their Java infrastructure, they could use Java quite uh, effectively. In terms of Android development, again, small businesses will do Android stuff once in a while, I suppose. But I think that when you get into Android apps or mobile apps, I would tend to think it's a bit bigger business. Not your typical small business is going to be building Android app. They're much more likely to get a website up, that's for sure. And if you're doing small business freelance and you don't have a degree, you want to get into freelance, I always advocate for uh, server-side PHP. Well, server-side PHP is server-side, of course. You figure PHP, WordPress, Drupal development. For some people, it's not the sexiest thing to do, but they're just for freelancers and people don't have the degrees in computer science or computer engineering, there's a ton of work in that, even though some people don't like that area. Some people, PHP is still wildly popular. Java is still a very powerful, very widely used. I, I really liked Java in the old days, but I don't use it anymore because it's too, it's too slow to, to, to build apps in it versus let's say PHP or Python or or Ruby with Rails or something. It's too slow to develop in. When it runs though, Java runs really, really fast. Much faster than Ruby, much faster than Python. Uh, probably faster still than PHP, although PHP is much faster than Python or Ruby. When evaluating languages, I'm always considering the job prospects and uh, what the type of work you want to do rather than the technology itself because all these languages 
have their pros and their cons. There's no one definite winner overall. It depends what you want to do. All right. Have yourself a great weekend. Bye-bye.